Hey everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Jedi Survivor video. In this episode, we will be discussing how to reach Senator Sejin and make a critical decision in the game. So, let's dive right in. As we left off in the last video, Cal must catch Senator Sejin, and in order to do that, he must navigate the Coruscant Undercity until he can climb aboard Sejin's ship. Imperial forces are on high alert during this portion of the game, so players will need to familiarize themselves with Cal's fighting style if they hope to get past them. After paving the way forward, Cal will reconvene with his comrades, who will then help him gain access to Senator Sejin's ship, where players will be forced to make a choice. Part 1 – Reaching Sejin's Ship Before Cal can confront Senator Sejin, he must first find a way to climb aboard his yacht. Thankfully, Cal's quick thinking at the beginning of the game was able to prevent the yacht from fully escaping but it is still slightly out of reach. Cal will need to cross the newly lowered bridge leading to the northern platform and use the ascension cable to reach the climbable grade above. Climbing further up and jumping to the suspended pipe on the left will lead to a shaft that Cal must descend. Then, he must turn around and continue moving forward. Jumping to the next platform, Cal will need to force push the flaming pipe blocking the way, after which he can scale the underside of the yacht to reach the next area, where he must use the ascension cable to get to the higher platform. Cal will then need to force push another flaming pipe in order to free Sejin's yacht, after which he can jump onto the yacht's golden grate to climb aboard. BD-1 can then be commanded to slice the yacht's door open. From there, all Cal needs to do is head inside the yacht, travel down the stairs, and use force push on the locked door to find Sejin. Part 2 – The Decision Once Cal has located Sejin, he can approach the politician to begin interrogating him. Sejin isn't willing to talk, however, so Cal needs to make use of his mind trick ability in order to extract information from him and gain access to the central terminal. Players will then be given a choice on what Cal will say to him. Choosing trust will prompt Cal to tell Sejin that he can trust him. Sejin will then happily agree with Cal's words and grant him access to the central terminal. Choosing the reward option will make Cal promise to reward Sejin in exchange for information. In response to this, Sejin will smile, happily repeat Cal's words, and grant him access to the central terminal. Cal will still gain access to the central terminal no matter what option the player chooses, and aside from Sejin's slightly different response, both choices lead to the exact same outcome. Conclusion That's it for this episode on how to reach Senator Sejin in Star Wars Jedi, Survivor and make a critical decision. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Star Wars Jedi, Survivor videos. See you in the next one.